Hello everybody, JVC1103 here, welcome back to some more NASCAR Heat 4, and we're returning back to our Xfinity Series Championship, we're here for race 14 of 25, we're here in Iowa, with uh, the 18 of Jeffrey Earnhardt, and yeah, qualifying ink also, and also it's Iowa, so. We'll see how this fares today. Hopefully it's just top 10. Maybe top 20. At least we have to make a pit stop. Then here is going to the back and I guess we found the other person that was in front of us that's going to the back. Because it definitely wasn't Timmy Hill. And I'm not trying to be being sorry from that. Be ready here. Green set, let's go. Car outside. Good. Green set, let's go. Car outside. Good. As you can see. We're about eight to ten laps short. Let's just see what we can get out of this. about to get full wide. Okay, it's going to say three wide. It's still three wide. Josh Williams. Hi. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay. I don't want to be in the middle. All right. Can we run the bottom? Yes. Alright, you're clear then. Oh, Ray Black Jr., excuse me. Oh, this is gonna be a wild one. At least we're moving up. Definitely, at least we're moving up. Just like to get another five positions. So far, this is looking like a decent point, day. Kentucky may not go well next time out. So we gotta do what we can here. Then I think after Kentucky next time out is New Hampshire. New Hampshire kind of is a decent race for us. From the last two games. But yeah, this race and Kentucky next time out. Top 10 may be the best. But at least someone that's not running up front all the time is leading. And Justin Haley's got a decent lead. So that also is very good. Twenty five to go. Outside, outside. Oh, it's all already kids. Actually not having a good race right now. And we're actually game. We're making it three wide again. Hey look, Justin Haley's up here. How long is this gonna last? Hi teammate. Thanks, Brandon. Bye Brandon. And I thought this was going to be a bad race, and look at about 30 seconds later, I'm running the top five. Maybe that was just NASCAR Heat 2, and then the bad luck in NASCAR Heat 3. 
But yeah, this track is is really one of the most toughest tracks in NASCAR Heat 2 for just being only in the trucks and Xfinity in that game. Seriously, I wish NASCAR Heat 2 played like NASCAR Heat 3 and 4. Some of the problems in Heat 2 could have been fixed if they didn't have auto braking the way they had it implemented. Auto brake really hurt hurts the, that game. It's fun, but hours W1 tracks. The auto braking is very annoying. That in sim and normal being two separate handling models. And Sims just way too loose for me. I don't know how, but we somehow managed to catch up with Justin Haley and pass him. And I know the tires are, well, I was expecting that to happen for the left front to be that bad. But the left rear, um, okay. I know this is times three, but wow. That's a lot of tile left. All right, clear outside. Uh, may not last for long. But if it can last another five laps, that would be greatly appreciated. I made the bike the bully in pit early. Clear eye, bud. Don't need full fuel, just need to take one can. So I'm gonna pit a little early. You got room, you're clear. But the good thing right now is the more calls I pass. The last spots we will lose doing the pit stop. And people are on the pit early. So this may work out to our advantage. Oh, just working no. Okay, we got by him just in time. So everyone's pitting now. That would mean the times are gonna be off in us. I'm gonna stay out just a little while longer. Just to gain a little bit of advantage. And also hope we can get a yellow. The green flag pit stops. You love to see them. And Ray Black Jr. is running the top five. And we have lost our tires. I'm gonna try to go one more lap. This actually may work out. I'm kinda surprised. I know, I know. Tires are gone. I know. All right. Oh. Just don't speed. 
Just need a can. Lower the tire, your air pressure. We're gonna take four tires. And we're gonna take her to the line. Looks like Ryan Sieg's gonna have a bad day. And we're gonna get lucky! <laughs> Yes! Woo! All right. Hey, look, Justin Algar is going to get lucky. And I think we got the um glitch. Yep. This sometimes happens. Camera sometimes change. I did not do this, the game did this. I'm kind of not too comfortable with cockpit view yet. But yeah, that sometimes happens. So that's going to be two awkward glitches in one playthrough session. Oh well. But Justin Haley is back on the lap with that lucky caution. But we're on for tires and co Custis racing now. Oh uh, boy. Hey look, Christopher Bell's with him. So that's good, our teammates coming in. I'm guessing they pit a lap after Justin Haley because they have fresh tires and they are just destroying him. I tell the Redick. Everybody's in this. How are we <laughs> Seriously, how are we leading? Seriously, if if Kentucky works out next time out, we may have this championship in the bag. Kentucky's been kind of a rough race too, but sometimes that's just been the luck of the caution. And also some stupidity on my part. And there's Justin Haley coming back saying, nope, odd start on pole. I have a fast call. You will not deny me. Then again, Jonathan Newcheck's doing the same thing. <laughs> That's a really rough battle behind us. I need two more left, but keep it going. And that may go to the end of the race too. The way that's looking right now. That is literally a full call battle for a second. And we're pouring away. <laughs> uh, we're pouring away by a lot. I know we got about two left fresher tires. And because of the caution, that may be about, that would equal about four laps. Knowing this game's logic. But somehow, we did it. You earned that checker. Seriously, this game. He does not like giving us triple digits in speed or anything. I just don't know why. <laughs>
But seriously, hey, just an outcome. <laughs> he was on the lead lap. That was a good boatload of points. And Tyler Rick was the first call lap that one. And really, wow, Ray Black Jr. actually got a top 15. Oh no, but some drivers it was a good day. Except for Ryan Sieg and Noah Gregson. I think we know why the caution came out. Question is, will it show up on the replay? While we wait for that, here's the point standings. And at least we still got a two race lead with 11 to go. And Justin Elko's good finish actually got him into 12 points. Still got a chance at this at a top 10. Yup. Yep. That was mechanical issues. So, oh, hello. Um, that's why the caution came out. <laughs> yep. Um, oh. Yep, Charles Williams was the reason for the caution. <laughs> okay. That's a big new one. But seriously, that's a 10th win in the championship. Well, that's our team with us. But somehow we did need the most laps. So that's good. No, uh, definitely was a tough break for Ryan Sieg. But all in all, a decently good race. And with that, this video has come to a close. I'm JVC1103. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And, and until next time for more gameplay content, I hope to see you all soon. Be safe, everyone, and later.